I'll get straight to it. If we imagine, right, that I am a ship, okay, my life is a ship. The moment I am born, I start learning and acquiring the tools in order to build my ship, in order to put that somewhere in a port so that I can go towards my destination, wherever my destination is, wherever I choose that to be. So I spent all of my life, my conditioning, my patterns, my behavior, nature, nurture, all of these basic things, right, are the tools, and the resources that I learn and that I acquire in order to build my ship. Then I come to a stage and I've built my ship and I start sailing it. So that's me as one person, as an individual. Now what happens in relationships? Two people, right, that have built their ships, now all of a sudden come together. Uh, let's say in a personal relationship, two people come together, you've got the chemistry thing going on, and you've got the intellectual connection going on, and you decide, hmm, I actually like this person, what are we gonna do? So behind the scenes and underneath everything, you can also look at it as now two ships come together, right? So what's going to happen? Two ships automatically can't just merge into one. It takes time, right, in order to do that. So these two ships end up being side to side. The one looks at the other one and goes, Hi, I really like you, but what are we going to do now? Am I going to continue to sail my ship in its own direction? And are you going to continue to sail your ship in your own direction? Which, by the way, usually is where the conflicting parts within relationships actually happen. Both people sail their ships as individual into different directions. So the end destination might not be the same between both ships. There's many different ways in order to, I want to say deal with it, but deal with it might not be the best and the most clear way in order to describe it. So there's many different ways to to develop. That's what I'm looking for, to develop this situation, right? So two people can come together, depending, person A might have a much bigger ship, a yacht, and say, listen, everything is okay. You can park your ship there, we can leave it in the dock, jump on my ship, and we sail together on the one ship. That's one option. Another option can be, one can say, listen, my ship, is, my ship is already really, really developed and it has a purpose and it has a goal and I really, really like you and I want to be with you and everything and I can see that your ship has just been sailing around with no goal and no purpose really. So why don't you just sail with me, right? Sail with me. Another way that I usually see a lot in businesses is two ships come together and they decide to literally sail hand in hand together in the same direction now what's important in this particular perspective all right is to remember that as long as the ships decide that the end destination is congruent right in other words is the same between both parties the one ship can still decide to veer off and go to different places you know but the destination the end destination stays the same so both ships go into the same direction ultimately i cannot express to you how important it is the relationships that we have whether it be personal or private they define us as people they help us when we're alone they help us when we need help. They're responsible for our growth, for our development, for everything we achieve in life. We, we don't achieve any of our success alone. And if we try to achieve things alone, we end up making enemies. So by looking at a relationship within this paradigm of it being two ships that come together, person A, and person B. It gives us a visual construct to actually imagine, okay, this is what's happening. You know, this is what's happening. So take it as a practical example for your current situation. 
let's say in your personal situation at the moment, you've been undergoing some relationship difficulties and problems. Let's imagine this is your ship, right? And this is the other person, the other half in the relationship's ship. So what's happened? Have they been going into completely separate situations, right? And then if you take a few steps back, you ask yourself, but how did the journey together start, right? Have we always been in separate ships doing our own thing and going towards our own destination from the beginning? Or is this only a recent thing? So quite literally, depending on your priority, your feeling, your long-term objective with this individual, then you can decide. You make a mental picture in your mind and you say, okay, this is what's going on. Our ships are not on the same journey at all. But I would like to fix this. I would like to change this. So really, all we have to do is decide. Are we sailing together? Are you jumping ship? Am I jumping ship? What are we going to do? It really is as easy as that. Now, of course, this is a very basic and simple example. But I'm a firm believer that simple is quite literally only very complex, explained as easy as possible. So I hope that you got something from this video. Um, if you have any questions, anything like that, just connect to my profile. This is one of the areas that I specialize in. It doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be complicated. Always remember that where you are now, somebody else has already been through that. And it's up to you to find that person and to ask them for guidance. Take care.